Installation Manager for Duravent, and today we're going to go over installation of an adjustable length. An adjustable length serves two purposes. First, to fill odd gaps and also to take up thermal expansion. An adjustable length will cover a gap between flange to flange of seven and a quarter inches to 28 and three eighths of an inch. Before we get into installation, let's talk about the components that are in an adjustable length. First, you have the inner wall sleeve. Second, you have the adjustable gasket assembly. Be sure not to remove the adjustable gasket assembly. It comes pre-assembled on the product to you. Next, we have a V-band, a spacer tool for the gasket assembly, two outer wall halves, and hardware for the outer walls. If you need to field trim your adjustable length, you can do so by measuring your desired length plus eight inches for the inner wall sleeve. For the outer wall or insulation, if you had an insulated product, it's the desired length plus six inches. Now we'll begin assembly of the adjustable length. First, note the direction of exhaust flow is from the raw end to the flange end. To begin assembly, take the raw end and slide it into your adjoining pipe section. Then, take a V-band and assemble a joint for the standard joint assembly. Now we will adjust the inner sleeve to the desired length and attach the adjoining pipe section with a V-band in our standard joint assembly method. Now we're going to take the pliers and tighten the compression bands. Then take our spacer tool and a wrench and tighten up the bolts. After we've tightened the uh, bolts, then we're going to wrap if we had an insulated product and then apply our two half outer wall casings. With the outer wall assembled, you have a completely assembled adjustable length.